everybody, welcome back to Lessons Learned, the podcast where we aim to turn our experiences into your wisdom. I'm Randy, here today with Chris, Jared, Joe, and Talon. And for today's episode, we're going to be talking about kind of the pros and cons of video games. Chris? Hey guys, Chris is here. What's up? Chris is here. That's what I went with you're today. Here, That's my All right, I mean, Let's clearly go. you're here. Big one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. Wow, what a day. He might not be here. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty tired today. You know what? It's been a, it's been a long few nights. Uh, you know, just haven't been sleeping that great, but I'm going to work on that this week. So today's a big day for one reason. We launched today. Woo! So hey, we're on episode yep. what? This four now? This is four, yep. This is Talon the Editor here. Uh, Chris and I were being big dumb, and this is actually episode five. So check it. We recorded a little bit in advance so that we can post for you guys once a week. And then if we, you know, get deployed or fall behind, you know, here or there, we're still on track. We did it all for you guys. Did it for the gram mm. and the fans. Also for the gram. And yeah. Chris is here. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, today, as Randy said, we're going to be talking a little bit about pros and cons of video games. And uh, you know, this is one I'm going to have to be convinced on, you know. So uh, <laughs> oh, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Randy to, uh, to get things going today. All right. So uh, I, got, I, I did a little bit of research pre-episode this time, a little, little bug brain kind of stuff. Okay, okay. Um, you so got I'm the gonna, bug facts. Got, I got the bug facts. Huge bug so facts. So I'm going to start us off right. with some, I'm going to start with some pros and some cons, and then we can kind of get into discussing it a little bit. So for Go a for pro, um, one of the things that they say that video games are good for is uh, hand-eye coordination. So there was a bunch of studies, there was a bunch of edu- uh, educated articles on it. But the one that I chose was one out of the University of Toronto, mainly because, honestly, it was the easiest one to kind of cite and to kind of quote. So this was... Wikipedia? What's that? (laughs) Just Wikipedia? Yeah, just Wikipedia. Straight Wikipedia. First article. Straight facts. Straight facts. Um, facts. (laughs) So anyway, this is directly out of the article. This is a quote. So, quote, the researchers set out to determine whether frequent video game playing could affect uh, sensory control. 18 gamers and 18 non-gamers participate in the study. At first, a, the gamer group was no better at tracking... They did a, a thing with a white... I left that part out of it. It doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> tracking a white square uh, than the non-gamer group, but by the end of the task, the gamers were performing the task more accurately than the non-gamers. This suggests that the playing video games does not give an immediate boost in learning new skills, but it does help individuals learn... Uh, with sensory motor skills over time. So that was just one particular study, and there's a bunch. I actually read about one from um, the Naval Postgraduate School that did a report on actually the military and how they use video games like, to train and whatnot. Like a flight simulator? Yeah, like stuff like that. But like they also use like shooting games because um, it, it was kind of like proven throughout the article that first-person shooters help to improve hand-eye coordination. That's very interesting. So that was some pros that I, or a pro in particular, I wanted to start with. So now I'm going to cite two instances in sports, actually, from 2018, both from 2018 and both involving the game Fortnite. Um, So one of these instances was uh, pitcher for the Boston Red Sox, David Price, was put on the injured list due to mild carpal tunnel from playing way too much Fortnite. Um, oh no! <laughs> yeah, no he way. missed he missed a big start against the Yankees. Um, oh good! And uh, I I really I tried so hard to find that there was a graphic going around that um, when this happened, there was a graphic about his pre and post baseball stats, like pre and post Fortnite. So like when he was playing Fortnite and then when he stopped, and the the difference in his statistics was like astronomical. Like he was so much better after he stopped playing Fortnite. Um. And then the other instance I wanted to cite from 2018 was the Vancouver Canucks. So Chris and Joe, you hockey guys will like this one. Yes, sir. Uh, Banned their players from playing Fortnite due to poor performance on the ice. I I (laughs) actually, I remember when this was a whole big thing. I remember seeing it online and them talking about it because 
I don't know if it had to deal with like hand eye coordination or skills like that, but you know, it was consuming so much time out of their well, day. Like, they yeah, were just and I think playing all I think night. the problem, yeah, I think the problem was they were like staying up all hours of the night and playing, and then they were out on the ice the next day, and they were tired. They had eye fatigue. They had you know brain fatigue from sitting up for hours on end playing a video game and then trying to go and play a sport at a professional level. Yeah, exactly. Um, and Ooh, honestly, that's, that's something incredible. that I can say I can attest to from like growing up playing sports like if i played if i sat and played like call of duty for a while before i had a baseball game i didn't hit for shit that day just from like the eye fatigue so that sure is kind of like a negative not you regularly what's that <laughs> so you sure that's just not you regularly i'm pretty positive that it wasn't me regularly but you know i guess that's that's what up a, for another debate another time what a dickhead a little bit but um <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, that's, I'm the that's, asshole. that's kind of where I want to start. I want to give like a pro and a con, and I'll kind of get into my personal experiences with video games um, as we get later into the episode. But uh, just, you know, what do you guys think about that kind of stuff? All right. So I let me start. Me and Rumsey were driving to the gym today, and we kind of got into a little bit of a debate, man. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, yeah. I like to, you know, he pointed out some some flaws of mine. Um, basically I, you know, I, I think I'm open-minded, uh, Rumsey said, try to call you out on your shit. Rumsey says, Chris, <laughs> you're very close minded on this, on this subject. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, you're probably right. It's going to take a lot of convincing to, to sway me to that. Is, it, there can be pros because to me, man, video games are just a gigantic waste of time and money yeah. and effort and you lose sleep. You get frustrated. My blood pressure rises. So I just don't play, man. Like I play every now and then yeah and i brought up what esports yeah so we we actually made this comparison between like my argument was professional athletes man they're like fine-tuning their body like they're putting in the work man like they are doing absolutely everything they can to become a professional athlete and then he brought up esports i was like dude it's like okay uh. so i understand that esports you know it's not it's not physical however it is it's mental it's a lot of mental uh i guess mental agility dexterity or whatever and communication as well you're still working with a team and you can actually make a living off doing this now so like 10 years ago yeah maybe not but nowadays a lot of people are making a living off doing this and i think that's that's my argument yes i believe if you do it professionally and you get paid to do it and you live off of it yeah maybe you should still get outside and exercise and stuff not saying pro gamers don't exercise or don't have to but it's a different kind of sport i mean it's e-sport and you know people have careers out of it now yeah it's actually know, gotten man. huge um it's um people it's uh uh what is it open uh, the companies they can invest into um what's the word i'm looking for publicly traded um market you guys know what i'm talking about right well, you're very smart. No. Keep going. Apparently, <laughs> offering publicly traded company. You can invest into them now because they're they've gotten that to that level of big. Yeah. Bug facts. Oh. All right, but like no help. Still. All right. And look, I'm just stubborn. Like the term esports to me. I mean, really. However, like I'll give it to you guys. Like, yeah, people making money off of it. But like, I don't know. I just don't buy into okay. any of it. So you're an exception, because. You know, you you play hockey, you follow hockey and everything, and heck, you just what your team won a championship, right? Hell yeah, brother! Yeah, First yeah, couple yeah, days ago. yeah congrats! Thanks. Um, so you're the exception, but a lot of people that argue that esports isn't a thing or like that it's stupid are people who are basically armchair quarterbacks who follow a team. They follow you know baseball, hockey, basketball, football, whatever, and they don't like they're a couch potato you know and these are the kind of people that i see argue about this a lot that esports is stupid it shouldn't be a thing and it's like well you follow a team but yet you don't play the sport i mean i wouldn't consider it a sport thank you thank you like i'm not saying that there's not a lot of work and effort and talent that goes into it like i'm sure if you put me up against a pro gamer of some kind i'd get my ass kicked and you know whatever they played me against but I don't right. think that makes it a sport. It, chess okay, is so, technically a sport, so why would video games not be? Chess? I don't yeah, think chess exactly, should be a sport either. Is. I, would ex- I was exactly about to say that. Huh. Yeah, chess. So, wait, what do you call chess? A game? What do you call chess a players? Game. Chess players? Yeah, chess players or gamers, I guess, technically. 
Chess masters, like, actually. The actual definition of sport is literally just an activity requiring skill or physical prowess. Boom, in roasted. A like, often in a competitive nature. Does it say physical nature. prowess? It skill. says requiring skill or physical prowess. That is the huh. definition of a sport. Huh. And there is yeah. a I mean, huge skill gap between pro gamers and non-pro gamers. What did we say? Something about... Oh, how they, oh, we were talking about like IQ levels, too. Like Me and Rumsey got into this conversation, this oh. argument... And I said, he said, do you think people need to be smart to like play video games? I said, no. no. He's like, so you think people can be dumb, like have a low IQ and play video games? I said, yeah. Absolutely. Look at Joe. Look at <laughs> no, my, okay, <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. So you're taking me out of context. My exact <laughs> verbiage was, do you think someone can have a low IQ and play at the top of, uh, like be on a, you know, be a top player. All right, in all right. And Why to not? That I said, and that I said, yeah. Look at Joe. And then Rumsey's response was, Joe's not even that good. Oh <laughs> all right. shit! Perfect. Sounds wow, like a challenge. Getting... I mean, wow. don't don't worry. I only reached you know Diamond and Rocket League. It's okay. No. Oh my deal. god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. I do. I do have a bit of a rebuttal for this. Um, why would they? There's have... no rebuttaling that Joe's dumb and well, bad. At okay. Videos. Well, not no, that. I will crush. Why? You. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you have to have a high IQ to do that? Because if you want to bring it back to the same level of like playing a sport, Ooh. I mean, there are some professional athletes who are fucking morons. Like you listen to them talk on TV and you're like, oh my God, they should never let this guy speak to anyone ever. But they're amazing at what they do. <laughs> it doesn't change their skill level. Exactly. That's a good point there. Hey, look at that football. I mean, the football, people get concussions all the time, which is, you know, not good for their yeah, brain happens? at all. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it probably depends on the sport, though, too. Like it, I mean, some sports they just have to stand there and just hold people back. Sometimes they just have to run forward, and that's literally all they have to do. They don't have to think that much. So, exactly. is it so an it argument of like motor skills, maybe? Then, yeah, yeah, maybe. It's reputation hmm. or reputation, repetition, reputation. Yeah, yeah repetition. you got a very repetition. good reputation going well, this episode. Talking about esports, IQ. think about uh, think about people like uh, professional StarCraft players or like League of Legends players. These people have like like they have. They can do like a hundred to two hundred actions per minute, and if you don't know like what an action is, that's like they can they can complete like a command in the game that many times in a minute. So yeah. it's just like and like it's an absolutely insane. If you watch these people playing, like in StarCraft, like you're controlling armies, and like these people are like bouncing around, like press like keyboard, like they you can't even watch their fingers; they're going so fast. I'm just like. I can't even w read what they're doing, let alone like I would never be able to do that. That kind of uh, like, yeah, insane. it absolutely takes skill. Like I, I wouldn't. Say I'm it not even gonna skill. pretend to know what StarCraft is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> ah, that's okay. Low IQ. I get it. I know what Minecraft is. Yeah, I've never played it. <laughs> it's okay. I haven't either. And that is it. Like Minecraft in space? No. <laughs> oh, you're basically controlling. You're controlling armies. You're building bases, controlling armies, and in controlling space. like individual units, like 200 units at a time. Like they're and like these people are like excellent strategists. Like it's insane. In space. In, In space. space. All right. So space. I don't know. Let's do a let's do a, let's tie in the podcast idea of having a lesson learned from this. Right. So I guess what would be like what what have you guys taken away that like is a benefit or a pro of like ourselves playing video games? Like what? What do you gain from that? It's, I mean, the first thing that Enjoyment. Randy brought up is, you know, a lot of baseball players or like you actually uh, had eye fatigue when you played video games one night and then had a game the next day and you were you had eye fatigue and you were tired and you couldn't hit worth shit. You know, I think a lesson to take from that is play in moderation. Everything or, you know, moderation. pick when you play. Yeah. yeah. Like I would, like you know, again, if I knew I had a game that day, I didn't play that day. Like if I didn't or have like, like overall, like if I didn't have like a night's rest beforehand, like I would play, you know, maybe the night before, but you know, number one, I wouldn't stay up till two or three o'clock in the morning playing. And then two, I wouldn't play the next morning either before the game. I would think the yeah. most important thing would just be balance. Like Chris said, it could be a, a time waster. Like people could, yeah. I mean, people could spend like 24 hours playing video games. You just, you just need to be able to manage your time correctly. Yeah, that's, that's not just get sucked up, sucked up into it. That's what I want to get okay. into more like later so on. That's, that's that's more or less like neither a pro nor a con. It's just kind of how to manage it. But I think I think one pro, we can all kind of agree on this one, is that I didn't want to say a test again because we say it like every episode. I want it to be – I want my voice to sound organic. 
There you go. For I fucking Nick, hate you. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, I want it to flow organically. I told him I would use that Just word talk. In, in this conversation. Just tonight. talk. You've used it twice now. Oh my yeah. god. Okay, so f- f- to you know to help this conversation flow organically, um, oh we're gonna so like a pro would be, I think when like when when this whole pandemic first started, right? We had nothing to do. Everything was closed because no one knew what the hell was going on. And we all played Call of Duty, and it was great because we had so much time on our hands. And, you know, for me, a pro was we all got online, and I was able to talk to my friends even though, like, we weren't allowed to go hang out or, like, I couldn't visit home to see Joe or, like, any of that stuff. So, to me, that was, like, a gigantic pro and probably one of the very, very few that I could find on this topic. Myself. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It it does help you spend some quality time with people. Well, I don't know about quality, but for, you know, what we like what we got then during quarantine it was quality time yeah no, and i was gonna bring up this point later or as well sorry did, did i cut you off there no go ahead okay but yeah now i was i was also gonna bring up this point as chris because um if you want to call it quality time even if it's not quality time and it helps you stay in touch with um a lot of friends so like i just at last night i was playing with um one of my friends who i haven't talked to in i don't know a couple months now actually and he's out in Virginia, and I'm in Delaware. So it helps a lot of how friends did you, uh, stay in touch. So how did you, like, did you just see he was online and just, like, send him a friend request? Uh, Actually, no, nah, I was just, um, I was playing with Greg last night, actually, and he just joined up in my game. Like, he didn't even say anything. Oh, so it all happened pretty organically, huh? Exactly. Stop! Nice. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to fly out you. there and smack the shit out of you next time you say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess like just like communicating with people. Yeah, like you can you can call people, but at the same time, that's just talking. Like at least if you're playing video games, you're talking to them, but you're still doing something with them too. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah, it's like me and you played uh, Among Us, Big Chung Us last night. Yeah, yeah it ruins friendships. But I mean, you you played <laughs> you played with me yesterday. Like the the people I was playing with, half of them were people that I actually met online playing video games, and like now, like I would call like I would consider them similar friends uh to like a lot of people that i know in real life and like some of them like you were playing with my friend uh bajan yesterday when we were playing among us i've never met the guy uh i have some friends that's met him but i've never met him but i've I've talked to him all the time interesting i'm pretty sure joey has a bunch of friends like that too yeah actually there's uh one friend in particular that i'm thinking of uh his name is carlos Uh, i met him not at the table carlos (laughs) nice (laughs) nice I think I met him playing Halo 3, I believe it was, you know, way back when. And, Classic. Uh, yeah, played that in Bad Company 2 with him, and now he's a great friend. Don't you have a Halo play. tattoo? What? No, what? I don't have I do have a Halo tattoo. Oh, him. Not okay. you, Joe. I was like, Jared, what? Sorry, I'm looking at him. <laughs> yeah. I got yeah, a Halo Reach team. tattoo on my leg. You know what's crazy? That's There's going to be people listening to this that are going to be like, what's Halo 3? <laughs> I swear if no <laughs> one knows doubt what it is. that. Yeah. Mm. I wouldn't doubt it. No, that's that's pretty cool though, Joe. Is that like you did make good friends and haven't you hung out with him before? Uh, I have not. Like we've actually tried mm. to make uh, plans to hang out like several times, just have not yet. I will soon. But see, but so yeah, that's definitely yet. a pro. I'd call that a pro for sure. Exactly. Well, you get to be yeah, it was my freaking subject that I brought up. Of course, it's a oh pro. Oh my god, yeah. here he goes. You're welcome. <laughs> Stroking his own. All right, we won't, we won't go there. Yes. Um, <laughs> I think a con. A con would be, you know, video games can be rage inducing for yeah. sure. That's why I don't play. Hands down, like <laughs> that is why I don't play. That's Chris why I don't play so PvP bad. games. What the hell is PvP? Oh, player versus player. player. What is. the hell is that? You're like that's what you play, people. like when you play like the hockey like games online or Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Oh, dude. I've broken a controller and I've almost smashed my NHL disc <laughs> just because it's the physics. The physics don't make sense. Like I'm already heated about it. I hate this shit. Oh yeah. It sounds like it's just a, that's just a personal thing. Like I, I don't think I, I don't know the last time I've gotten angry at a video game. That's just because you're. Good. I remember last time you got angry at math homework and it was last night. Math homework. Oh yeah, no. Oh well, yeah, that's, that's math homework. No one likes math homework. <laughs> no it one sucks. likes math homework. <laughs> don't I came even over today. Don't even talk about it. I came over today. And I was like, I broke my pencil last night. I was so <laughs> oh pissed off. Damn, badass. <laughs> it's, so fu- it's so annoying. <laughs> Um, and then I played Among Us. Then I felt better. Uh, so oh, okay. until you betrayed me, hmm. you dick. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice. Okay, maybe I did get mad now. Now that I think about it. <laughs> so I think that's more uh, an issue with Chris, not the game. True. Well, yeah, yeah. you're probably right. <laughs> so that's so why I play. Uh, I play more RPG games. 
What the hell is so that? So those are role oh, playing games. games. Um, what is that? So that's like, if you ever play a game like Fallout or even like Minecraft, Minecraft would actually be an example of that too. Although you can play Minecraft with other people. So that's, that's a gray area. I've played two games my entire life, uh, Call of Duty and NHL. Yeah, so those what are both PVPs. RPGs are like, uh, I guess like examples would be like Fallout or Bioshock. It's like where you're just playing by yourself, you know, and any of your, your enemies or whatever is the game. You're not playing against like another person. Yeah, it's mo- the most basic thing to think of like of RPGs is dr- like Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. So you pick you pick like it's like ooh I want to be this character and then you you follow like your quest and stuff like that. Like you that's the role and I mean you're playing that. And role. how many hours have you guys spent playing these games? Uh, so I played I Fallout probably like two. I played Fallout <laughs> oh Four God. for over a thousand hours. Wow. Yeah. I have six days on Call of Duty. Now imagine if we wow. had gone to the gym for those four thousand hours. See, I, I, but that's the thing. I went to the gym too. I wouldn't be happier. You need to. I wouldn't be happier. Like, as long, as long as, honestly, like, I enjoy the gym, but I don't enjoy it that much. And as long as I feel like my body's healthy, uh, like, I'm not trying to get swole. Like, as long as I feel healthy, I don't really care that much. It's not, it's not a hobby of mine. That's fair. I guess it's more of a hobby. Yeah, that's kind of more of a personal preference. When you hit a certain point. Yeah. Okay. However, imagine putting 4,000 hours towards a master's degree. Like, well, yeah. yeah, more math. Well, it, so, Alan. so that was. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> I want to play more video games. Yeah. Uh, not, not, not homework. So that was my pro and con, really. Like that was my big one for uh, video games. So the pro is, like, when you play video games, you, you can kind of like turn off from reality and like all the bullshit. And um, you know, that's that's what kind of annoys me about a lot of the stuff. And not, I'm gonna very slightly touch into a political spot but a lot of the stuff you see in video games that's about politics now like on a lot of the you know um call of duty games and stuff it's like i play video games to get away from this so please keep it out of my game i Um, I agree but anyway to get back away from that like video games are like a turn off from reality so like you can kind of shut your brain off you play the game you chill out, you know, if you had a bad day at work, you go, you can jump on your game and just kind of like forget about the day you had. And the other cool thing about, especially like if you play RPG games, is you can kind of be whoever you want. Like it's, it's like the one place where you can kind of be whatever you, you want and do whatever you want. Um, and then, you know, with, you know, no repercussions, no judgment, but at the same time, you know, that's, that's where you kind of dive into that area where you start to put too much time into it and then you end up playing for a thousand hours well, I, I, have a, I have a quick question for everyone why is it socially acceptable for someone to binge watch game of thrones but it's not socially acceptable for someone to put hundreds of hours in video Ooh, game these, these are good good one. like why why do people think it's so normal to binge watch shows on netflix or whatever it is or spend two hours a night on netflix or three hours a day on facebook but putting that much time in a video game where you're actually at least actively kind of doing something that's a great point like why is why why is that why, like why do people Chris, think yeah, that that's wow. a negative? I don't know. I feel I like really Christian answered this one. That. Yeah, I'll answer this by saying that I have no rebuttal, and you're absolutely correct. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like that's that's a great point. Wait, I got yeah. I got one question I, I don't for know. Chris as well. Um, oh boy, here we go. No, that, this one's actually not hard. But didn't you also <laughs> enjoy uh, Red Dead Redemption? Uh, yeah, oh. I guess back in the day, but like I played it for like a summer, and that was about it. Oh, like. Okay. It wasn't every day. You know, I'd play with like a, I'd go over my friend's house and play it. Oh, so at least I was still socially active. True. But yeah. um, so my I can't think about this topic without thinking about that South Park episode <laughs> when they're all playing that. Video Mom, game. diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! Is that the, is that when they're playing World More of Warcraft? More hot pockets. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's what it yeah. is. <laughs> oh my god! They don't even leave to eat. Mom, or diarrhea. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh man, that was a Leroy. fantastic episode. Oh, that was a big one, Pookie. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No. Anyway, um, so I think a big con, like Randy touched on it, is I feel like a lot of kids uh, are now, you know, they're growing up. But like me and Joey were kind of like the last. I guess all of us were kind of the last generation where like half of our childhood there wasn't video games. Yeah. Uh, I think we got it when I was about like 10, 12. Um, and like, even then it was, you know, we get like one game. It was yeah. like ATV. And you didn't like have like the online games shit. and stuff either. We're like, right. You know. Yeah. So you play with like your siblings and your friends. I mean, you're still with, with people, right? right? But I feel like now people, 
you know, get so lost in this false reality. And I mean, you've yeah. seen like shows about it. Well, even, that's like, what I was talking about. about it and, yeah. like, that's exactly yeah, what I was like, talking about. I feel like it can be a very deep, dark place that people get lost in. I feel um, like that's to me. That's why I don't, I, I don't enjoy it. That's the thing though. That's, that's everything in life. I mean, you get too obsessed with absolutely anything. And like, I, like video games, honestly, as long as you're happy doing it, like who cares? Like you can you can make you can make like ten thousand dollars a year living in like a one bedroom apartment and just play video games all day. And it's just like, hey, if that's what you want to do with your life, I'm okay with yeah. it. Like, does it really matter? As, lo- as long as you're happy. Yeah. yeah, but like, what are you contributing to society? I mean, <sighs> I mean, I, I, there's a lot of non gamers that do absolutely nothing yeah. for society. I mean, <laughs> however, like me. I don't know. um no but i mean i don't know to an extent it's kind of like does it matter no i guess not that's why i mean like if you're if you're like the the way i see you know in a way contributing to society like if you're paying your taxes and you know doing the things you're supposed to be doing in that regard then you're contributing to society yeah i mean like yeah Yeah, there's people who go above and beyond like you know there's doctors there's healthcare workers there's police there's firemen like that's the same thing. That's that's like on a different scale. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Chris, you already brought up like, oh, like instead of playing video games, you could go towards a master's degree. Right. But quite simply, not everyone wants a master's degree. So yeah, very okay. true. Very yeah. true. A lot of it I is know, personal like me, preference. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think- Personally, like I would just rather not play and find myself doing more productive stuff. I mean, it yeah. comes down to priorities. It like does. obviously yeah. your priority is... You know, video games are very low on your list of priorities. Yes. Maybe not even on there. Nope. But other people might be higher. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't think it really matters. To uh, A little bit. And I think. Oh, sorry, Chris. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So, and like when we were you know, all quarantined up, um, we were playing a lot of Call of Duty. And I kind of got addicted for a little bit. Like, I wouldn't go to the gym. I would be like, nah, screw the gym today. I'll just play some video games, relax. And that's like, that's a hard habit to break. But I broke it, and uh, I don't ever want to get back into yeah. it. It's because you changed your priorities. You decided that gym's more important. And even though you enjoyed playing video games at the time, that w- that's not what you wanted at the moment. So, yeah. and, you, and you did good, and you had the commitment to, to break that habit. Yeah, true. Well, it's funny. Actually, ahead, I think it's funny that I was actually going to bring up um, the quarantine thing as well. Because whereas, like, you spent a lot, like, you and, like, I guess you guys spent a lot of time playing video games... I use that as an opportunity to ramp up like my business out in the wood shop. So almost yeah. like ironically enough, I was playing when that happened, I was playing way less video games because I was busy working out in the shop. Yeah. Right. And I, yeah. So I, we would FaceTime and, you know, talk the whole time. Yeah. Um, I feel like, that, me and you are similar. Like I wouldn't. I don't want to be cooped up playing. Yeah, games. exactly. Just, that's just. I'd me. rather be outside. I mean, like I like it. You know, yeah. they're great. They're great for a rainy. Like I take the same philosophy I do now to it that I did when I was a little kid. It was like if it's nice out, I want to be outside. If it's rainy and yep. shitty or like way too hot or way too cold, then all right, now that's that's an opportunity to sit inside and play video games. Yeah, right out. Right out. Right out. Right out. <laughs> Uh, so uh, real fast, I just kind of want to tell like a quick story about me and video games. So for me, uh, I was I actually have a, a neurological disease called apraxia. I grew up with it, and it's just like I like it, it's just fine motor skills. Uh, there's like just a disconnect. It's like oh, I want to do this with like my fingers, but it's like my brain just won't let me do it, kind of thing. Oh. Uh, and like I think the first time I got video games, like I got my Xbox when I was six, and like stuff like video games uh it, like with that it's extremely difficult just to like understand what's going on with the tv and like how i make those movements like those fine motor controls with like my fingers and stuff like that like individual like aiming in like halo like i got halo when i was like seven like aiming was like I, it's so difficult but like you just i mean that was like one of those things that just helped me train uh like my hand-eye coordination and everything like my fine motor skills uh and i mean i still play video games to this day and it's definitely not my highest priority by any means but i mean chris you have the gym you have hockey and stuff like that that's your hobbies for me i mean my hobbies video games or whatever else it might be it, it doesn't get in the way of my other priorities like yeah i might play like an hour or two of video games a night but i mean i'm still going towards my degree in computer engineering i'm still getting my certifications i'm still uh working towards whatever it might be i want to do right and i think that's so, the yeah, most that's important true. point in the sense that 
it doesn't like you do it, but it doesn't interfere with, you know, the things that you have to do. Maintaining a balance yeah. in your life, I guess, is the big yeah. advice. That like Ramsey brought up before. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I, I, guess, I guess that also does change how, like what you were talking about earlier, for the people who do it professionally, like uh, live streamers or YouTube uh, video makers or even the esports players. Uh, those people are going to put a lot more priority into video games because that is their financial career as well. So obviously, yeah, it's their livelihood. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So here's a here's a thought. Ready? Uh, what what did people think of them as they were putting in all these hours to become the best and not even monetized yet? You know, they probably like, people probably thought they were stupid. Right. So like, at yeah. what point I don't, does that change? I didn't, but like, I don't. When they see the first paycheck. In a well, yeah. In a way, though, I don't feel like it's kind of in the same realm as like you know, because you're 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 almost thinking of it from like a sports perspective, right? So like I'm a ba- if I'm a baseball player coming up through high school and college, like then I get scouted. If I get if I'm good enough, I get picked up by a major league team on a minor league contract, and then you know eventually if I'm good enough, I make it to the majors. Uh, I don't think it. Nece- I mean, I feel like there's a similar. I guess dynamic, but I don't feel like it works the same. I feel like when you become like a pro gamer, you almost kind of just like fall into it. Like you're playing a lot, you're good. And then your statistics reflect that. And you know, somebody picks you up. I mean, I don't know. We, I haven't done the research on it and maybe somebody could tell me better than I know, but I feel like you kind of just, fall, it's not like a sport where you really like necessarily work at it. Like, I don't think you necessarily think I'm just going to be a pro gamer. I think you kind of like fall into it. And then once you fall into it, that's when you kind of pick up, you know, practicing and like putting in the extra hours and extra time. Yeah, probably depends. Like, I'm sure there's some people like 12 year olds. I don't know. Like, they're probably like, oh, I want to grow up and I want to be an esports player. Or it's like, I want to be a, yeah. a gaming YouTube channel or something like that. I'm sure that exists. And I'm sure that's well, probably like, a lot uh, of the time. It's just like they, they just they're just playing video games and these things just happen over time yeah exactly i mean i think it's generational a little bit too like i you know i don't think any of us would have necessarily thought of that as a kid to be like i'm gonna be a pro video game player like you know we may have ever joked about it and been like you know oh wouldn't it be cool to be pro at video games for a living but like no i don't think we would have ever thought of that being career. but like now like kind of jared said earlier in the episode with it being such a big thing maybe that is now something that people strive for yeah i I think it's changing quite a bit yeah uh, I think you like, look at um sorry uh, I think you look at like Ninja and everything who's got you know millions upon millions of followers and you know not just Ninja but everyone around him um I I can name off these names and you know 10 12 year olds can know exactly who I'm talking about all the friends that those individuals play with and say and these kids are probably growing up saying I want to be just like them and they're playing the games and there are some kids who will at you know 10 12 years old that would wipe the floor with me in any video game oh fuck yeah and <laughs> yeah exactly that would wipe the floor with you in any uh, video oh game. sounds like a challenge I mean, let's do fast, 12 real fast let's just name call the biggest pewdiepie the biggest youtuber in the entire world I, he's he's a he just yeah. play, he plays video games i mean i think now he does like memes and stuff like that but i mean for the most part just he, video games yeah he started off so right. yeah and i remember like back in like i don't know 2010 2012 like i'd be watching youtube youtube videos of like people playing call of duty and like people around me is like why the fuck are you wasting your time with this stuff it's just people playing video games why aren't you playing those video games like exactly. stuff like that and then and then these people start making like millions of dollars and they're like what are they doing to society they're not doing anything but then you look at like actors are you quoting me st- huh are you, is that me no that's not me? you <laughs> it's okay. just entertainment no. Yeah, it's just entertainment. Like, same thing with, like, actors and movies and stuff like that. Like, do they benefit society in terms of, like, a doctor? No, it's different. But they, they're they bringing enjoyment and entertainment to someone's life. So. True. I guess it's just hard for me to accept. And like, ha- I am being stubborn. And, hey, as, as we've talked about in other episodes with different things, it's just another thing that money's a big part of it. It's a revenue generator. So, again, like... Yeah, yeah and why does it... Why does it produce so much revenue? Because it's exactly. entertainment. That's yep, just like in the future, yep. like as as we start developing technology that can do our jobs for us, what's the one sector that is never going to be overpopulated? Entertainment. Yeah. The world's always going to need entertainment. Hashtag lessons learned podcast. Yeah. Ooh, <clears> oh, oh. I think we pretty much hammered this topic. Yeah. So, you know... We so we we I guess we came to a general consensus that you know it's all about balance again, and uh, you know like not being too addicted to it. You know, acting like Talon does, where you know he's putting in the work, he's doing all his 
priorities first, and then he plays video games at night. And like, I feel like we all have kind of done that. And, um, you know, just, just taking the time out of your day to do the important things first. Maybe video games are more important to you than the gym. Um, but, you know, it's to each their own. All right, guys, this has been Lessons Learned. Thank you all for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast and go follow our other social media pages linked in the description from all of us here at Lessons Learned. Have a good day and see ya! See ya.